right, let's have a look what he works out. This is a good attempt. Can he turn him? Right leg to strong defense here from Turaboyev. Down here from Turaboyev. Attacked him. No, moved outside. And Moketa received a penalty for stepping out. Just did not react when he came close to the edge. Failed attack here from Moketa. Katagoma attempt. Good support here, although we're going to have no Tachik fighter on the tatami. Boy of chances here the for a bronze medal. Next contest, semi final, men under 100 kilo. In white judo, so semi final, but Kuyak Gonchi Suren of Mongolia. He is up against Matvei Kanoviski, one of the individual neutral athletes. Good grip here from Kanovitsky. Right sided. Puts his opponent under pressure. Konikovsky, good control of the right arm there. But now also the Mongolian. Right behind the head. Could turn him, but not enough. That was a rapid charge between Hayev and Matthias. Yeah, on that number one. Sumiga <laughs> Ishii. Look promising. Didn't quite get the landing, did he? Mm. Big hello to all of our viewers on Facebook, all of our social media platforms. Big welcome 
yes. to you. <laughs> Joining us at a good time because we've got a cracking semi final lineup for you. <laughs> quite, a back, quite a lot of action going on now. Carlos waiting for what's coming up. And I think most people are looking forward to the semi final. Wow. That was a rapid charge. Yeah. Against Marty Matias. We're watching the contest between Matthew Gonchik Surin of Mongolia. He's up against Matt Bay Kanikovsky, I'm sure. I think um, Annette has already introduced the fighters. I won't labor the point let's have a look and see this last action well ooh, pretty close with the left arm it's Absolutely. just a question of which one which one goes down first yeah head first head first arm. it's a, it, it's a yes yeah it's it's a it's a thin line and he's just skirted over that yeah i mean it really was close because on the other side, we, we could see the arm coming down. It was a question of maybe with another camera, it would have shown. From the other side, yeah. We had a similar case. Time. We had a similar yeah. case today, right? Yes. Where the arm saved him. <laughs> yes, that was from that diving. Was clearer. Anyway, yeah. he picks up a penalty for avoiding to take a grip, as does Batkyuk. Batkyuk, beg your pardon. Batkyuk. Batkyuk. <laughs> Gonna have to go quicker if he's gonna go over on that other side. Can't stay on one side for too long without attacking. Batkuyag just um, bailed out there, didn't he? It's a little bit of pressure. He went to ground. Avoids picking up a penalty, however. The attempt there on the outside, the attack at the outside, too far away. OG, OG. Yeah, <laughs> some good combinations here. Couples of attacks. Looking threatening. Yep. In front of the Uchimata. Oh, huge attack. I just want to say a better grip here for Kanikovsky in this uh, moment. He's tapped out anyway. Yeah. Don't have to worry about whether the the was the nage was it was. <laughs> Ippon or not, pretty good. Because Batkuyak tapped out after the... Grip on the belt, look at yes. that. Yes, good call. A determined grip. In fact, he, he just about squeezes out the Wazari. Kanikovsky. Kanikovsky in the final. Batkuyak will compete for the bronze. Right, what have we got coming up next then, Annette? 